We might have just potentially seen Gemini's greatest model yet. And this is from a new leak that could be the Gemini 3.0 Flash, which is a cost efficient, lightning fast version of the Gemini 3.0 model series. And we just recently saw the flagship model Gemini 3.0 Pro being released, which is incredible already on its own with its elite coding capabilities to next level reasoning as well as its unbelievable versatility. But now it seems like Google is already back and testing out new checkpoints within LM Arena, which could either be Gemini 3.0 Flash or even the new Gemini 3.5 variant, which is early being tested through these different platforms. Currently, there are two new models being tested within LM Arena. This is a public platform where people can autonomously test different sorts of models and compare AI models head to head in real time. And usually these different providers tend to use it to get a better understanding if their model has an upper edge against other model providers that are already there, like Mistral, for example. And in this case, this is a YouTube clone that it generated, but the Seahawk clone, which is one of the two new models that are being tested by Google currently within El Marina was capable of generating and the generation quality overall is pretty powerful and it looks really great in my opinion it is something that generated this insanely fast which is great to see and this is something that you can visualize throughout this example you can access the two models skyhawk and seahawk throughout la marina and you also have the ability to access other checkpoints through google ai studio as well as the gemini web app this is where some users have been reportedly able to access these checkpoints via A-B testing, which is rare, but technically possible. But if this ends up being the Gemini 3.0 flash, it could actually be Google's best model yet. This isn't wild speculation because Sundar, the CEO of Google, had stated that Gemini 3.0 flash is coming and it's going to be very, very good. It might be their best model. And this is not just another budget or light tier. Google appears to be positioning the Gemini 3.0 flash as a breakthrough model, not a compromise. This is a Gemini 3 level smart model that's fast, cheap, but also scaled with this flashed architecture. And it will be one of their best models yet. Before we get started, I just wanna mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. To access these two new variants, you can head over to Ala Marina and then select the battle mode. This is where you're gonna be testing out two anonymous models head to head, and then you can paste in whatever prompt that you wanna test, and then make sure you just select the code mode. This is where you can have it test out on building a VS Code clone or whatever prompt that you give it. So if we wanna basically create a browser-based OS, and if you're lucky, you might get the Skyhawk or Seahawk generation, which will show up after the voting phase. So it looks like we have two of the generations for the browser-based OS. We don't know which model it is. You can only find out once you vote. So I believe that this B option is better so I can vote on it and then it will tell me what model it used to generate it. So in this case, it's neither the Skyhawk or the Seahawk. So luckily I was able to get the Skyhawk variant on my second try of creating a browser-based OS. And this is the operating system that it generated. You saw there was notifications. It was able to create different apps, which is great to see. You have a web browser, you have a terminal. You also have a media player, calculator, notepad settings. So you have the different functions that were generated. You have a bit more options than a typical browser-based OS that was generated from an AI model. But overall, I am liking the quality of output from the Skyhawk variant. I believe the Seahawk variant is a bit better in terms of its performance, but Skyhawk also does quite well. And this is something that mimics Google's code names. That's why we know that it is the Google model because it also has the ability to use longer context with this generation. And it's able to follow through with the Google code name with these two different variants. In this next prompt, I had requested two of these models to generate a creative weather app with vivid 3D animated weather types taken to the extreme, allowing users to switch between different cities and weather conditions with stunning visuals. 
Currently, you are seeing the generation from the Kimi K2 thinking turbo model, but with option one, you have the generation from the Skyhawk model, which looks absolutely amazing. It did a great job in building the front end for this weather simulation. You can see that it simulates the particular uh, atmosphere and weather or 3D animation for a solar flare, which looks pretty amazing. You have a cyclone animation. You also have the void animated acid. And overall, these are just different sorts of generations that it generated, not specific to any sort of weather that we had asked for, but if you were to ask for a snowy weather type, it would generate that app. But the quality is definitely there, and it's great to see that this model is able to generate stuff like this. In this next example, I had requested it to build a realistic, working, and accurate 3D mechanical watch mechanism with interactive controls in multiple layers, which you see over here that the Claude Sonnet 4.5 generated. Only problem is, this exterior gear is not within the main component of the watch, which doesn't look great. But then again, when I look at the Seahawk generation, it looks great, but it's super dark and it doesn't have all the components that we saw like the other mechanism. But I will say the quality of this model, the Seahawk model is definitely insane because after hovering over each component, it gives me an understanding of what the mechanism is. So I guess in that front, it is great to see. But overall, I think both models did decent with this generation. It was able to generate a functional mechanism with the Seahawk model, but it lacked a bit of quality in terms of generating the panel, as well as maybe the lighting, because we can't really see a lot with this demonstration. And at this rate, guys, it does look like the Gemini 3.0 Flash will definitely be released before the end of this year most likely before the 31st, but you also have great odds for the 22nd. And there is a lot of volume being traded on off of these two dates. And obviously with the new tested variants, it does seem like it could be the Gemini 3.0 Flash. And overall, if we do see it this year, it will be a great addition to the model sets provided by Gemini. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. That's basically it guys for today's video on the new Gemini leaks with this new variant. I'll definitely leave all the links in the description below. Let me know what you guys think. I potentially lean towards this being the Gemini 3.0 flash. It is still remarkably good, and I believe it is going to be able to be helping a lot of people out with its cost-efficient as well as its lightning-fast architecture. I'll leave these links in the description below, but with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Our positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.